If you're wondering what investment income is and how crucial it is for your retirement, consider this. Most of us don't have enough in savings to simply bleed down the balance every month once we retire. Instead, we need income-producing investments that will provide us with a regular paycheck while we are retired. Even if this investment income isn't enough on its own, it reduces the amount of money you have to take out of your savings each year. As a result, your funds will go a lot further. Here are seven suggestions for getting started. Before we proceed, I would appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and ring the notification bell so you won't miss out any of my future videos. 1. Dividend Stocks Dividend stocks are often riskier than bonds because they are paid from profits. Even the most secure corporations can face a crisis that drains profitability, as the financial crisis of 2008 demonstrated. Consider Citigroup, which lowered dividends from 54 cents per quarter in 2007 to a meager penny per share during the financial crisis. Nonetheless, many income investors are ready to take on this additional risk in exchange for the possibility of a regular paycheck and the long-term prospect of seeing their initial investment grow in tandem with the stock market. When dividend stocks provide both capital appreciation and reliable income, they might be a win-win situation. 2. Asset Allocation Funds If you're having trouble deciding how to put together an income portfolio using some or all of these publicly listed investments, try a one-stop investing fund that will do it for you. A range of asset allocation ETFs and income-oriented mutual funds are among them. Consider the actively managed Invesco Balanced Multi-Asset Allocation ETF, PSMB a fund of funds that invests 45% to 75% of its total assets in equity ETFs and 25% to 55% in fixed income ETFs and rebalances on a regular basis to keep the mix right for market conditions. Popular target date mutual funds, such as the Vanguard Target Retirement 2025 Fund, VTTVX, take a less risky approach each year as your retirement date approaches, in this case, the year 2025. 3. Bonds Bonds are a popular income-generating investment and are arguably the most frequent kind. Bonds, on the other hand, are one of the most diverse and sophisticated asset groups. Government bonds cover loans to local governments, the federal government of the United States, and even international countries. Corporate bonds are also available, which entail loans to businesses of various shapes and sizes. Finally, the yield provided by a certain bond varies depending on the characteristic, such as the risk profile of the borrower and the bond's maturity. Individual bond research can be time-consuming and difficult. As a result, most individual investors prefer bond funds like the iShares Core U.S. Aggregate Bond ETF, ticker, AGG, which contains around 8,300 different bonds across all market categories. 4. Preferred Stock Preferred stock is a type of hybrid investment that combines the benefits of both stocks and bonds. Because stock prices fluctuate with market forces, this income option is less reliable than bonds. In the event of bankruptcy, preferred shares take a back seat to bondholders, although they provide more stability than common shares. The fact that these assets tend to give a much greater yield will pique the interest of income investors. Preferred stock isn't given to just anyone, as the name implies, and it might be tough for private investors to get. Fortunately, you may invest in this asset class with a small amount of cash thanks to exchange-traded funds like the iShares Preferred and Income Securities ETF, PFF. 5. Real Estate You can try to buy rental properties directly, but this usually necessitates a large sum of money up front and limits your liquidity because your money is locked up and difficult to get if you need it. As a result, many income investors prefer to invest in publicly listed real estate stocks rather than private equity. The Real Estate Investment Trust, or REIT, is a unique type of stock that provides a business with favorable tax treatment if it distributes virtually all of its net profits to shareholders. Individual REITs, such as Simon Property Group, SPG, the largest shopping mall operator in the United States, or funds, such as the Vanguard Real Estate Index ETF, 
VNQ, can be purchased for convenience and diversity. 6. Annuities Annuities have become increasingly popular in the last decade or two, as these income investments guarantee a retiree's monthly or annual income until death. It all sounds great, but there's a catch, annuities must be paid for many years before you can receive any money. This can be in the form of a monthly payout, such as life insurance, or a one-time lump sum payment, which can take up to 10 or 20 years until you're eligible for your first distribution. For certain investors, annuities are a strong vehicle, but it's critical to study the fine print regarding your structure to prevent large upfront charges. It's also crucial to comprehend the ramifications of early withdrawal and the difficulties of recovering your first investment if you must it. 7. Interest-Bearing Savings Accounts It's also worth considering the tried and true option of parking your cash with your bank or credit union to produce monthly interest payments. These are among the safest income investments on the globe, with the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation guaranteeing up to $250,000. The lower yield is the price to pay for that safety. At present rates, a one-year certificate of deposit, or CD, account gives around 0.2% in potential income, or $500 per year on the FDIC insured limit of $250,000. A CD won't increase your nest egg or provide the cash you need in retirement unless you have other sources of income or wealth, but it is the safest of all these assets. If you're not yet retired or nearing retirement, investment income can provide a regular trickle of extra cash into your savings account that is unaffected by market fluctuations. Income investing is vital to consider regardless of your age, strategy, or portfolio worth. As always thank you for watching, see you in my next video.